back. This one has been here before. It's been here before, and I watched the video the other day. You watched the videos? Well, I had to watch this one because I didn't know what was covered. And do you, you know, do you subscribe? I kind of have to. I, there's no like I can't unsubscribe. I subscribed. I know you did personally. All right. All right. But this car was on the channel two years ago. It was that long? It's, it was like 2001, but it was later in the season. Okay. So like end of summer, but year-wise. Um, and at that point, when I watched the video, I had built this car nine years ago. So it's been 11 years since I built this car. And I'm not gonna get into all the details of what this setup is. You can watch I'll, the other video. I'll link the video up above to the full specs of this thing. But in short, it's got a GT3071. It's on pump gas. We made okay power with it before, around 337-ish wheel horsepower. It had some problems. You can watch it, it's all in the other video. The big things though, obviously, as we always talk about, 91 octane is our crutch or that's the right term crutch. is that crutch no yeah it may not be the right term the one big thing we changed on this setup from last time he wanted to try to make 400 wheel horsepower so i added an additional water meth nozzle and we're tuning specifically this time for water meth injection so the last time i was here i know all this because i looked at the down sheet from before and watched the video it made 25 pounds of boost, and it made like 337 wheel horsepower. And how are you tuning it? Good question, because I would have totally forgot. Yeah. We're tuning it with Eurodyne Maestro 7, and well, it's, it's considered Maestro, I guess, nowadays, but um, it originally was called Maestro 7 because the ME7 used to use in the 1AT. Schooled. <laughs> so 337, we're going to basically do a base run on it, see what it's come back with to make sure all is good. Yeah, because in the last video we had to fix some stuff. So right. got to so make sure we'll do a baseline good. to see how it sits today and then we're gonna start playing with timing and then hopefully get to the goal of 400 wheel horsepower. The big thing is, like I said, it was already at 25 pounds of boost, pump gas. The water meth is definitely gonna help. We'll see where we get. Hopefully we can get there. Let's get to it. Okay, we're ready to try our first run. I already had to flash it once to get rid of the two-step because that won't let us run the car because it's stationary, so it wants to just sit on two-step the whole time. So I haven't done anything else. We're just going to run it, see where the air fuel is, and see where the boost is from where it was two years ago. Pretty close to where it was. Um, it did look a little rich though. But it did, I think the last time I was here, it did 337, this was 324. So it's pretty near bang on to where it was. I will take a look at everything thoroughly now that we got the first round out of the way and start making the adjustments and start dialing in the water meth. Okay, so I haven't touched boost yet. We're just playing around with the map, trying to squeeze a little bit more power out of it before I start leaning on the boost. Um, we're up to 346. Um, I think the highest it dyno before was 337 and at the same settings when we brought it in at dyno 320 something. So we're up around 20 horsepower from where we started today. Uh, but I made a couple more changes and hopefully see a little bit more power this time. Good jump in power in that one actually. It did 361, 301 torque. So we're definitely getting to the goals here. I think I probably mentioned at the beginning that his goals are trying to get to 400 wheel. Um, 361 with the same boost level that it had before, which is right around the 25 pound mark. So things are looking good. Don't want to jinx it because Old turbo, built, I think I've said 11 years ago, um, but things are looking good at this point. So I gotta do some more changes, go back at it. Okay, we've made a little bit more of a change. Let's see if we can gain a little bit more power again. It's 
still haven't touched the boost controller. It's liking it. It's liking it. That time it did 373, 312 torque, and again, 25 pounds of boost. So it's definitely liking what I'm doing here. Gonna do a little bit more changes to it and uh, see how far we can ride this out before turning the boost up. All right, made another change. Let's see if it likes this one. It did, it did, so. 25 pounds of boost, 383 that time. So we're definitely creeping up on the goals strictly by adjusting timing and taking advantage of the water mat setup. Okay, as always, rinse and repeat. Every time this is, we probably would have mentioned it in the last video. Um, it takes like 15 to 20 minutes to flash this thing, so every small change I want to make, it's taking quite a bit of time, but as long as we're getting decent gains out of it, then it's worth it. Small little gain that time, but still gains nonetheless. So we're at 391, and again, 25 pounds of boost digging it okay Clayton this is the first time we're turning the boost up so we're at uh, with no boost adjustments at all just playing with timing we started off with 323 or something 327 I can't remember exactly you'll see I it in the video it. and the last run with the boost exactly the same we did 391 whoa so that's a good proving increase. that the fuel the water math we're taking full advantage of it the timing is basically at the limits of what i want to run with it right now so now we're going to turn the boost up a little bit so hopefully this makes a difference all right we're turning the boost controller on oh no sorry it's been on turn the boost duty cycle up and we're logging we are ready to run okay I think we hit our boost cut but we did get over 400 it did 405 that time uh, but I could tell that I think we were getting into the boost cut. So we'll have to play with that because we want no part of boost cut. Whoa, scared the crap out of me. Do you still think those are trash? They're trash. They're, they work, but they're trash to operate. AEM True Boost, like, figure out some buttons, would you? Like, just junk. We, uh, we overshot on the, bo the boost cut, so I've played with the boost cut, turned that up, just turn the boost down a little tiny bit just to make sure that it doesn't get out of hand so hopefully we'll have a clean that run was pretty clean it did 405 but the boost was oscillating as it was hitting in and out of cut so we want something a little smoother than that Sounding pretty savage now, uh, Clayton. Yeah. So 407, 344 torque. The boost was kind of where I wanted it to be, 26 and a half pounds. So I wanted to gain like one pound of boost originally when I was like, I may have even set it on here. I, that it, it probably was going to take one pound of boost to make the difference from where it was. And sure enough, there we are. So I'm just going to look at it. See if we can chuck any more boost at it and 
maybe make a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, we're trying to dial the boost in a little bit more. We already did 400 twice, so two to make it true, we did it. Anything from here is just bonus. I think it can make more, Clay. It's looking a bit smoother, too. I think it's it can nice. make more. Do it up. Made a little bit more. 417. Clay's in the way. 353 torque. I think that's where we're going to end it, Clayton. I'm feeling comfortable. It's made a lot more power than it showed up. In fact, almost a hundred wheel horsepower from when it was here. It's when wild. I first dynoed it. First dynoed it this morning or this afternoon at 320. Um, so yeah, let's get out and chat. So this is, as mentioned, just dialing in water meth injection, especially on our fuel. It's so trashy with a proper water meth setup. We could go more aggressive like you would see in the white Mark V GTI that we did a video on. Can you link that above too? Uh, link it above, up there. That one did like, f it's a little bit different turbo than the turbo setup than this, but that one I think did 470 or 480 or something with water math. We gained, but similar gains actually. We gained around 70 or 80 wheel horse power. You're not starting over. You were saying about the horse I'm not starting over? No, fuck that. Okay, where am I starting then? Where you, you left off saying before oh, the phone. So the white GTI, I'll yeah. link it above. Okay. Um, that one, we ended up making like 470 or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it's in the video. But the point of that is with a direct port water meth injection, we can get even more aggressive. This one I set up to run two nozzles. Um, so a little more basic, but we still did really, really well. So when I dynoed it, First thing, the way it was when it came in, it did 324, and it's seen a peak of 26 pounds of boost. And then after strictly just timing changes, um, we got up to 391, and that was basically to the point of where I felt the timing was decent, we scored a bunch of power out of it, and then I wanted to chuck a little bit more boost at it just to get us over the 400 wheel horsepower range. And we've done multiple runs over 400 horsepower, as you've probably seen. And our last run, we did 417, 353 torque. So we took advantage of the water meth on a 91 octane and our trashy with 91 octane. We made the power that the guy wants. And I think he's planning on going to the drag strip. Actually, Actually, didn't you make more sorry. power than what he was expecting? Yeah, we gave a little extra sauce, <laughs> a little bit extra. So I was kind of skeptical at the beginning once I had seen that it made 25 pounds the last time I was here. Um, but timing was the proof of it all. I just started adding some timing, started taking it, taking it, taking it. And it's very safe the way it is still. However, with that said, he does have to keep up on the water meth. This is pretty reliant on the water meth This setup, is the video so. proof of you saying you gotta make sure you put water meth in this Yes, thing. Mark, make sure there's always water meth on it. If it's any, any signs of it's not working properly, turn the boost down, don't beat on it, it won't be happy. Um, so yes, some people ask for FSI content. Here's some more FSI content. Although it's been on the channel before, we did pretty good. 91 octane, water meth, dialed in. Clayton, what am I forgetting? um that was a good pause you that was like. good that was good uh thanks people are still thanking us super thanks clayton's waving great. like like i'm supposed like, hurry to join this, in here stuff, like, yeah but so yes people, we do yeah. appreciate the sport as always if you guys have any questions or comments about this car or anything else i try to answer what i can ask them below don't forget to subscribe like 60 percent of our uh viewers aren't subscribed to the channel do us a favor subscribe maybe they're See not the doing video. the notification thing I don't know. See you in the next video.